The little solar pump looks a lot better. Hopefully it works. Watch the full build of the filter. There. What's up, Billings fam? Welcome back. I got the, the new norm here. I got my mask. That is because we are at Home Depot. We have a lot to do. It's finally a nice day and it's gonna rain all week. So this is like our one day. We gotta get everything crammed in today. We need to build a DIY duck pond to get these ducks in there. I need a bunch of wood too because it looks like we're gonna have to build the ducks a new little enclosure too to kind of get them out of the chicken space because they are making a mess out of it. Again, I can't stress enough, ducks love them, really cool creatures, but the messiest things you've ever seen in your life. So we need to go on Home Depot, grab a bunch of stuff. Of course, got the loudest cart in Home Depot in, in the history of, of loud carts. All right, so an hour later, $135 later, all of that, and we are good to go home. We got so much crap, we gotta start working, man. So we got everything laid out. The first and most important part of this project is getting this duck pond created and done. They need a place to swim. I just wanna show you what we did. So this is going to be the basis of the, the DIY filter here. Instead of doing one of those buckets like a trash barrel, I went with a square bucket. I just thought it would be easier. It does 12 gallons. That's, I mean, this will hold 12 gallons of water. This is more than enough. We are trying out something new. We are going to use a little solar pump uh, solar powered pump here and we're gonna make this into the filter so we got some hose here we're gonna take the hose hook it to this part of the filter pump it through it's gonna go into one end of the bucket it's gonna sprinkle down over all of the media that's in there it's gonna rise and it will come out the other end and I will shoot it back into the pond so without further ado I'm gonna get that put together I'm gonna show you a little bit of it but I'll explain it once I'm all done All right, guys, quick little update. While that is filling behind me, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we did real quick. So underneath that, to make this level, we put a bunch of sand. I think you saw that. Just makes it a little bit more level so there's not a huge deep end and a shallow end and slanted, so we did that. On this, the pump is really not that strong. Um, so we're not using big inch and a half or two inch PVC. We are using half inch and three quarter. So it's a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the rest of the pieces, get this up and running. That is almost filled and then we'll see. First thing you're gonna do is drill two holes on either side of the filter box. One for the pipe that's bringing the water in and one for the pipe that's bringing the filter water back out into the pond. Now, the pipe that's bringing the water in, you're going to cap to force it out of all of these holes that you are drilling it in. Those holes are gonna sprinkle the water down over your filtration so it doesn't come out too powerful. Next, you can see I hooked the pump to a hose and you're gonna run that hose around the filter box into the pipe that is going to be bringing the water into the filter. That you would connect with a couple of hose clamps. You can use really any hose. I used clear. Uh, honestly, it was just all I could find at Home Depot, but you can use clear, black, whatever you can that will fit. Now, this is the part where it's kind of up to you and really however you want to finagle it, but you got to get the hose onto the pipe that is bringing the water into the filter. And that's where it's a little tricky. I had to use a couple of different size pieces of pipe and just kind of uh, jerry-rig it together there, as you can see, and it went into, eventually it went into a female adapter that went into an elbow to hook on to the three-quarter inch PVC pipe. Works great, and however you can get it from hose to pipe, you can do whatever you really gotta do is fine. Next, you're gonna cut the pipe to the correct size. You don't want it too long or too short. You can kind of play around with it. There's really no exact measurement. After that, you can see here that I use silicone to get this onto the filter box. I don't suggest that going forward. Anybody that's doing this, you should definitely use a uniseal. I ended up, which you'll see later in the video, having to switch over to uniseals. I just couldn't get them during this pandemic. It's a little tough to find things, so I had to order them, and it took about two and a half weeks for them to get here. So I started with the silicone, but again, I highly suggest 
using uniseals. Once everything is cut to size and I'm sure of how I'm going to rig this together, I secured everything with PVC glue. Next, you're gonna build the intake tube that's going to take the filtered water back out of the filter and into the pond. Really simple and easy build here. You're gonna cut a small piece of PVC. You're gonna attach it to a T and then another piece on top that will be your overflow. The piece that's on the bottom, you're gonna drill a series of small holes in. That's what's gonna suck the water up into the pipe and back out into the pool. Once you've done that, you're gonna connect it into the T and you're gonna create a little overflow. So you're gonna cut a small piece of pipe, put it on top. And again, make sure it's not taller than the pipe that is bringing the water into the filter. That is just so that if anything gets plugged in the bottom, it will still run out instead of overflowing outside of the filter. All right, so we got the lava rocks all washed off. Make sure you guys do that because they are really dusty if you don't. Look at, we got Tay, six months pregnant, still over here building stuff. We gotta get it done. So we got the lava rocks washed off. I have my filter floss that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go over here and hopefully put it in and get this bad boy running and test it out. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully the silicone has dried. Let's see how it works. All right guys, so we are done putting the filter together. It's still drying the silicone. Hopefully it works. We're gonna see. I don't know if this has enough strength to go through. We're gonna give it a try. Let's plug it in. All right, it is in. Let's take a look. Might take a second. All right, look at this. Coming along. This is gonna be a new enclosure for the ducks, but I wanted to show you since there was no sun yesterday, couldn't really see it, but look. Pump is working, what? Super cool, so the filter is working. And guys, again, not powerful at all, but it will do a little bit here. Uh, this thing, unfortunately, doesn't have a really a storage bank, so it only works when the sun is out. Um, but again, hey, this is just to get us like an extra day or two. We are still gonna do water changes in here because they're gonna get it disgusting, but it works. What do you think, George? Yeah. 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 In case you're wondering what we're doing today, we are cleaning up from the messiest creatures on earth. I don't care what anybody says, these ducks are just filthy creatures. As you can see, uh, again, our, our pump that we had thrown together stopped working the solar one. We're waiting on the new one, obviously, the, the uh, virus has kind of slowed things down. So as soon as that comes, this will, will help this a little bit. But I mean, this is only like five or six days. I mean, it is repulsive in there. So. We're gonna pump it all out right into the woods, refill it, hopefully it'll look a little bit nicer. And then for in here, I got some stuff today. I got mulch and I got some stone because, um, actually, let me let me show you here. Let me zoom in for you on this ground here because it's just kind of disgusting. But it is crap and mud everywhere. So what we're gonna do over in that area is put a bunch of mulch and stone anywhere that gets too wet and we'll absorb a lot of this. So that is what we were doing, but look at that. Just gross, 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 gross water. Yeah, you guys are gross. Those are the biggest dandelions I've ever seen. I heard one on the track, but there was a little Why do you have one of your pant legs up? What up, gangsta? What's the matter? <laughs> so not fully done but super excited with the transformation so far it looks a lot better it won't get as damp and soaking wet and muddy in here i'm excited and look at the water let me zoom in water's clear until they jump in and th they, they're so excited to try and get in. Wow, look at Grayson's daisies. Those are super cool, dude. Yeah. 
So it finally came in guys, really excited. Uh, so as we mentioned before, we were originally doing this with a solar pump, which for all of you out there that are trying to do this for either fish ponds or duck ponds or whatever, they will work. And there are certain ones that I've seen that do a great job. The particular one we got, it started to work and then something kind of crapped out. It literally lasted about an hour. Um, the filter that we made, the DIY filter, awesome. I'm super excited to see it come out and actually work and it's gonna do a great job filtering this out. Um, but again, it just wasn't strong enough. So what we ended up doing is just getting a regular pump. It's about a 400 gallon per hour, which should be more than enough for this. We're gonna uh, tie this in. We're gonna hook it to a timer. So we're not gonna run this the whole time. We're only gonna run this a couple of hours a day or when it really needs it. So we're gonna tie this in right now. Georgie, what do you think? You wanna see if it works? Um, we also do have this, guys. I always recommend these for outside, just to keep it safe in case it rains. The anticipation is killing me. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? It works. <laughs> it does work. It works. So, we also, just because there was actually a mess up, uh, or there was a mix up on delivery from Amazon with everything going on with the pandemic, um, we happened to order another one as well, which I think it was even stronger, isn't it? Like 500 gallons per hour. When that one comes in, we might switch it out, see if it gives a little bit. But again, no matter what guys, we're gonna have duck ponds, you're gonna have to. Something little like this, if it's not a natural pond, you're gonna have to clean it out a lot. We've already cleaned this out like three or four times. So this is just to kind of hopefully give us a little bit of time and that's not good. Okay, so I have been promising this duck pond video for quite some time and frankly, I've been working on it forever and it's it's finally time, I have to do this today. This will be the third attempt. Uh, fortunately, at first we had the solar pump that, that crapped the bed. Then we got another pump which worked fine, but we didn't have the uniseals on there. I tried to do it without that on the, um, on the filter side. That didn't work. So I finally got the uniseals in. So we got to change up a little on the filter. We got to plug the new pump in and hopefully, Hopefully, with any luck, this bad boy will finally get some use because they love this pond and I'm tired of cleaning it out by hand every other day because it takes forever and it's a nightmare. So, without further ado, I'm gonna hop in this cleaned out pool pond and try and get this done. Hold on, bubs. Hold on. Oh, all right, we got some water here. It's a decent flow. I love it, Gray. Gray, what do you think? Look at it. That's cool. Yeah, you think that's cool? Yeah. It's not, it's not super strong, but it's cool. Let's check the backside. Let's make sure there's nothing leaking back here. Because before, it was leaking out there. Oh, guys, I think we finally have success. There's no leaking. It's coming out with a decent flow. That'll work. That'll work. We finally did it, guys. We are finally complete. I'm super excited. This is a really cool build. Again, it doesn't have to be a strong pump. It's just enough to hold us over a couple of extra days. We're still going to need to clean this because, again, messiest, messiest creatures in the world. But awesome, awesome build. I hope you guys watched the full build of the filter there. It was a really simple build. The only thing that took a minute at the end was if you do it the proper way. I was trying to get away without doing it with the uniseals. Don't do that. Just use the uniseals. It's so much easier, as you can see. There's no leaks or anything. Um, so again, with the pump itself, use whatever you want. That's about a 520 horsepower. Uh, <laughs> she's 520 horsepower. Jesus, that would be good. That is a 520 gallons per hour, which is more than enough, as you can see, the flow. Um, this will do enough to hold us over a couple of extra days while they play. So that's, that's pretty much it, guys. It was super easy, super cheap, too, to build that. Again, the whole thing. I think it was like 50 bucks and most of that was in the pump itself but this episode's good vibe shout out goes out to pressure reptiles who said loved this build might have to make this myself and he was referring to the greenhouse we just built which is behind me hope you guys enjoyed that if you didn't see that check that out because it was a really cool and easy build and a great way to grow all your stuff for your ducks your chickens your frogs turtles anybody you want to feed we can do it in the greenhouse awesome as always billings fam Peace. Dude, that guy is huge. Look at him, Gray. Look how big he is. He's the biggest. The one that just stood up. Him coming out. Oh, he fell. That's, the, you know who this is, Gray? Yeah. His name is Duck Norris. Oh, I know. 
That's Duck Norris. He's the biggest. Okay. Why is he the biggest? He just is. Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.